Hello, welcome to SuccessfulEntrepreneur.tv, your business TV that offers solutions for growing businesses. My name is John Etimbase and welcome to today's show. For a few series now, we've taught you how to develop a great idea into a great business. I told you that not all great ideas end up becoming great business. So you need to learn how to turn your idea into a product and then make it a business. And I told you how that great products are products that save time, solve problems, meet needs and add values. Now, once you've been able to do that, you're on your way to a successful business. Today, we'll start a series on packaging. What's in a package? What's the difference between this and this? The before and the after. Most women I know would rather not go out looking this way, but go out looking this way. Why? Because the packaging is as important as the content. It doesn't matter what you have on the inside. If your packaging is poor, people will not respond to your product. Here are a few tips on how to develop good packaging. Number one, you first of all must understand that there is nothing new. Inventions do not happen all the time, you know. It, ha it happens once in a while. But you see new products coming out every day. And that's because all people do is take what has already been invented, repackage, remodel, or redesign it, and give it to the market. Take for example, the car you were driving five years ago is probably no different from the car you're driving today, with probably just maybe 10, 15, 20% changes. It is all on packaging. Of the tablet, for instance, one man invented the tablet, several people have repackaged the tablet. And now, what sells your product is how well you are able to repackage what has already been invented. Second thing you must realize is that people look on the outward. They judge by their senses. The five senses of man, the sight, the sound, the touch, the taste, the smell. Use your packaging to appeal to those five senses. Once you can appeal to those five senses, you get people running to your product. Three, understand that first impression matters. It is important to always make a good first impression with your product so that people keep coming back. Number four, you must understand that successful businesses depend on the look. There is a reason why I dress the way I dress. There's a reason why I present my office the way I present it. The reason why I drive the kind of car I drive, because of packaging. With good packaging, you can attract almost anybody to your product. I go to buy bread from a particular store. The difference with that bread and any bread somewhere else, it's not that that one was ma is made with different products. It's just that that product has been packaged nicely. And by the way, that bread cost me twice what it'll cost to buy bread on the streets. But what's the difference? The packaging. The packaging of the bread, the packaging of the location, the packaging of the seller. What are you going to do today to improve the way people respond to your product? Start with changing your packaging. Until the next series, we'll be talking to you about packaging further. This is SuccessfulEntrepreneur.tv teaching you how to grow your business.